It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Czech Republic and I'm super excited about this one. We just reviewed number 11, which was a 750 milliliter bottle of lager. Uh, I was expecting it to be uh, some kind of ale because whenever I've had a 750 milliliter bottle of beer before, it's generally been a craft beer, some kind of magically imperial style but i really like the idea of what this brewery kind of come up with here by putting a lager in a 750 milliliter glass bottle the beer was fantastic so beer number 11 was great this is beer number 15. so in the czech republic what you will find is you'll have numbered beers so number 10 number 11, number 12, number 13, number 14, number 15, and it probably goes on. That's how they kind of decipher their beer styles by numbers, or the strength of the beer probably by numbers, the higher the, the number, the higher the ABV. Uh, this is by Jivesh Brewing Company in the Czech Republic, and this is their Juicy Lucy New England IPA. It's in a 500 milliliter can, 6.5% ABV. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh. I want to say a massive thank you to Michael in the Czech Republic for not only watching my YouTube beer reviews, my YouTube live streams, but for sending that wonderful email asking me do i want to try some czech beer let me get this bit out the way i love czech beer the czech republic is one of if not the greatest brewing com country he said companies then uh, countries in the world they know how to brew their beer they really do up there with germany belgium Britain, America, great brewing nations. And per person, per capita, they're the greatest beer drinking country by volume in the world too. We'll talk about that in a moment, but I want to talk about the beer first and foremost. We got a one finger white head. Good levels of slow moving carbonation. It's a hazy, hazy, hazy New England IPA, which of course it should be. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Now, Juicy Lucy, uh, America, UK, that would normally be a reference to a style of beef burger. I've had a Juicy Lucy in a brew dog bar many years ago, and it was fantastic literally dripping with fat all over my face it was so juicy lovely so i'm wondering because everything's in the in the wonderful language of the czech republic on the back of the can uh, i'm wondering if it's the same thing if, it, if, if it's a reference to the beef burger the juicy lucy let's get the aroma on this beer then oh my goodness me this just smells fantastic Super, super juicy. Ah, oh, wow, wow. I'm almost stoned in the crows before I've had a taste. There's some orange peel, there's a little bit of passion fruit, a little bit of mango, a little bit of grapefruit. Pink grapefruit, a little bit of sweetness in there, a little bit of sweet malt aroma. This smells like a really well brewed beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Wow, 
stone the crows. Stone the crows. That is magical. Oh, that is absolutely magical. What a great, great beer. It's light, it's soft, it's fluffy, it's oaty, it's wheaty. There's so many hops in this beer. There are so many hops in this beer. It's, it's, it's bursting with hops. It's almost like medicated in the fact that it's, there's so many hops in the beer. Wow. Wow, pardon me, peppery, spicy, little bit of bitterness coming through, jammy, tart like, passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, pink grapefruit, pineapple, just brilliant, just brilliant, brilliant beer. I've had the weekend off. Uh, a rare kind of, we're, we're fast approaching Christmas here on the channel and before the Christmas rush of, you know, party after party after party um, usually involves lots of beer, I thought the weekend before Christmas let's have a weekend off. So I've not had a beer for three days and I'm alright for the first day and a half. Now, I don't crave alcohol. It's not that I crave alcohol. I crave the flavour of beer. I miss the flavour of beer. I like to drink beer every day. So, I was alright for about a day and a half. And last night, I was like bumping my gums a little bit, thinking, oh, I'd kill for an IPA now. Something really flavoursome. And I didn't. I didn't. I, 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 I decided to, you know hunker down with a big bag of Doritos and eat those instead and try and take my mind off it. Woke up and today's the reviewing day. M Monday is the reviewing day. And, I, and I, 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 this is my kind of reward, if you like. It's, it's, beer is such a fantastic thing. And when it's brewed by such a fantastic brewery like this, now I reached out to somebody. I'm, I'm very good friends with somebody at um, Budweiser Budva. And in his spare time, he does a lot of home brewing. He does a lot of collaborating with different breweries. And I sent him the pictures of these beers that Michael sent me. And he was like, oh, just, he sent me this WhatsApp message back. He was like, you're gonna love these beers. These, these are like some of Czech Republic's finest craft beers. And he's not wrong. He's absolutely not wrong in what he's saying. This is great New England IPA. Is there any English? There is actually. There is. Uh, barley malts, wheat malt, oat flakes, hop products. Now what's that then? Hop products. Um, are we talking hop oils? Are we talking hop concentrates? Are we talking actual kind of hop flowers are we talking pellets there's so many different hop varieties or oh, hop hop products these days aren't there it's cracking beer really really cracking beer I really like it I'm gonna rate it I'm gonna give it a whacking stone the crows 10 out of 10 it's a 10 out of 10 from real Ale craft beer please put your comments in the comments box thank you very much to Michael for sending comment subscribe boom cheers